Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you what we received in the September Sophie and Toffee Premium Elves box as well as showing you how to make a Halloween themed shaker. So in the premium box the items we received were a large cat silicon mold, UV resin, 12 shaker silicon molds, holographic film and stickers, glow in the dark pigment dye, polymer clay Halloween cane slices, fine holographic glitter, spooky metal embellishments, shaker film, two perfume silicon molds and silicon oil. So to begin I took the UV resin and the glow in the dark pigment and I mixed them together just on a piece of baking paper. I then actually decided that the dye wasn't opaque enough so I decided to put in some regular black dye which kind of defeated the purpose because now it doesn't glow but oh well. I took this pocket watch shaker mold that came in the box and I poured the resin around the outside part. And then because it is UV resin that we are using it will need to be cured under a UV light or in the sun. When it has hardened, you can take it out of the mold and sand it with some wet and dry sandpaper if needed. Now take the clear shaker film and pull the plastic covering off both sides before using it. Cut a piece the size of your shaker and then use some of the UV resin to act as a glue to stick it on and seal it down. I'm putting on the back piece first. Now using some acrylic paint, I went ahead and I painted on a large moon for a Halloween scene. I let the paint dry before doming the back with some more of the clear UV resin and then curing it with my UV lamp. Next I placed in some of the metal embellishments along with some hollow glitter and some glow in the dark stars. I placed some more resin around the front this time and then I cut another piece of the plastic and I placed it on. Then on the front of the shaker charm I took some black acrylic paint and I painted on a hill before doming the front with resin. Before I cured the resin though, I placed on the house metal embellishment so that it looked like it was sitting up on top of the hill and then I also added some rhinestones that I had. Next I took a syringe and I filled the inside of the shaker from the small hole at the bottom. I actually ended up using just water because I had accidentally spilt some of the shaker oil and there wouldn't have been enough uh, left for me to fill it right up. Be sure to seal the hole in the shaker charm really well using resin so that the liquid inside doesn't come out. And then just for some extra detail I decided to stick on some of this rhinestone chain that I had from a previous elves box. And there you have it, this is what my Halloween shaker charm looks like and as you can see the stars that I added glow really brightly in the dark. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!